Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about agarose gel electrophoresis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So agarose gel electrophoresis is a technique used to separate DNA molecules based on their size. So, suppose you have a sample here. You have a sample where DNA molecules of different different sizes are mixed all together. So, here we have different different DNA molecules like that. Okay, now you want to separate them because you want to extract your target DNA from that mixture. Suppose this is this red one is your target DNA. You want to extract that DNA from this sample from this mixture. So you can run an agarose gel electrophoresis and you can identify your target DNA. So this is the process. Now agarose gel. So agarose gel is made up of agarose molecules. Agarose molecules. Now agarose is a polysaccharide. It is a carbohydrate. It is polysaccharide. And it is extracted from certain red algae. Now it is a linear polymer. Linear polymer that is made up of the repeating unit of the disaccharide that is agarobios. So agarobios is a disaccharide like this. So this is a disaccharide and this is agarobios and there are a number of repeating units of these agarobios like that and they are joined in the linear form. You will not get any branch form here and that will make the agarose. So agarose molecules are held together by hydrogen bonds and thus form tiny pores. So agarose molecules actually uh, they form a mesh like structure. When they are accumulated they form a mesh like structure like this and they are joined via the hydrogen bonds via hydrogen bonds and then they form the tiny pores. So here you can see these are some pores which are made because of these agarose molecules and through these pores DNA molecules pass. Now if your DNA is small then you need a small pore size gel, right? Similarly, if your DNA is large, then you need a large pore size gel. Now, how will you make them? You have to just change the concentration of agarose while you are preparing your gel. So, if you want to make small pore size gel, then you have to increase the concentration of agarose. So, you are increasing the concentration of agarose like that. And it is very compact mesh. And the pore size are here small. And if you want to make a large pore size gel like this, so that time you have to decrease the concentration of agarose. 
so they will make the large pores here so this is the first thing you need to understand so now your agarose gel is ready now we will load dna samples into these wells here you have some wells this is your gel and here you have some wells here and in this wells you will put your dna sample so uh, we will load our dna samples into these wells at one end of the gel this is one end of the gel right and you have kept this this is the comb so you have kept this comb here and when you will pull your comb out from the gel so some wells are made and there would be some holes these holes are called wells where we will put our dna now we will place this gel in an electrophoresis chamber so this is the electrophoresis chamber you can see this one we have all seen this in our laboratory so we will put this gel in this electrophoresis chamber and this chamber is connected to the power so this electrophoresis chamber consists of negative charge at one end that is cathode so in this end you will have cathode that is negatively charged and here you will get in this side anode that is positively charged so this electrophoresis chamber contains a negative charge at one end and a positive charge at other end now when the electric current is applied dna molecules are pulled down through the gel now all dna molecules are negatively charged all dna molecules are negatively charged because because of their phosphate groups in their sugar phosphate backbone right so they always move towards the positive electrode so they will run in this direction dna will always run in this direction from negative to positive and smaller molecules move faster compared to the larger molecules okay so now we need to check where is our dna that you cannot see in your naked eyes right so to check that we will stain our gel with a dna binding dye the dye that will specifically bind to the dna such as ethidium bromide et br ethidium bromide is a dye that binds specifically to dna and then we will see the gel under uv light so when you will place your gel under uv light you can see this result you can see your dna these are all bands these are bright bands you can see so here your dna is there so we can see bands like that now each band contains a large number of same sized dna molecules that have all traveled together to the same position now if you notice carefully you can understand that some bands are thick suppose this band you can see this is thick band some bands are thick and some are thin so here you can see this is the thin band so some bands are thick and some are thin so why such difference now thick band means in that position number of similar sized dna molecules is higher compared to the thin band 
and it is not possible to see one or few DNA molecules on a gel. You can only see them as a band when your sample contains high amount of similar sized DNA molecules. Now how will you detect their size? So to detect their size you have to compare your band with the ladder or marker. So in this case you can see, see this picture here. We have put ladder or marker. So ladder or marker we have added in the gel along with our DNA sample. And this ladder or marker it contains mixture of DNA fragments of known size. So by comparing the bands to the DNA ladder, we can determine their size. Suppose here we have the ladder. Now the size, this is suppose 100 base pair. This is 200 base pair. This is 500 base pair like that. So, yeah. Now you can see one thing. Suppose this is 1200 base pair DNA fragment and you have one band here. This is your target band. Now here this band corresponds to this ladder. So the size of this is 1200 base pair. That means this band contains the DNA, its size will also be 1200 base pair. Like this, we can understand the size of our DNA molecule. 